I think that, that uh, it's the duty of artists to be radicals in one way, shape, or form. It's the duty of intellectuals to be radicals, to put forward alternative modes of thinking and being and doing and to, and to critique what has been done, especially if it is backward in some way, shape, or form, immoral in some way, shape, or form. That all should be exposed and, and brought to life and, and critiqued thoroughly in every way uh, so that... And how do we make that exercise? It is totally with you. How do we make that exercise the source of energy and optimism, which I believe it is, and not be the threat to those who feel they are losing their dominant position? Because that exercise which you describe, which in fact is full of life and how we actually create ourselves, is a threat to those who feel that they are losing their invisible privilege or whatever name you want to put to it. We have no wish to threaten them, nor do we wish to be directed or guided by them. So how do they, how are they brought into the circle of reimagining this rather than saying, we're changing. If you feel like that, just stay on the outside. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, and, and, uh, uh, it's a it's a terrible dilemma because uh, it was uh, uh, Frederick Douglass who who argued the great of course African American slave abolitionist and orator he said that power concedes nothing without a struggle so on the one hand it would be nice to think that if you show those with invisible privilege what the impact of their wrong hit it, uh, arguably wrong hit it uses of power and privilege have created uh, as a means of suggesting that they might want to yield some of that privilege, yield some of that power, share some of that privilege, share some of that, that, that power. Um, that may not necessarily lead to any particular uh, real changes beyond the cosmetic uh, and that instead it may be necessary to address all audiences with essentially guerrilla art, guerrilla theater. I even <laughs> want to spell that G-R-R-I-L-L-A. You know, put some gorillas out there and put some King Kongs out there in people's faces and, and so on in order to make real for them um, the necessity of change and the necessity of being more open, the necessity of tolerance, the necessity of, of, of accepting uh, diversity, not just tolerating it, but accepting it.